Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use built-in analytics to detect threats with Azure Sentinel. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. I will go to Azure Sentinel. So it says Azure Sentinel workspace and then you click on this workspace. So Azure Sentinel would always be tied up to the workspace because it will when you will connect the Azure data sources it will link to this Azure workspace. All right so once we have connected the data sources because if you will see here data connectors right so once you have connected the data sources to Azure Sentinel, you will want to be notified when something suspicious occurs. That's why Azure Sentinel provides out of the box built in templates to help you create threat detection rules. These templates were designed by Microsoft team of security experts and analyzed based on known threats, common attack vectors and suspicious activity escalation chains, right? So many of the templates can be customized to search for activities, or filter them out according to our needs. So if if I go to uh, show you the out of the box detections that Azure Sentinel provides, we have to go to analytics. So under configuration, you go to analytics. And if you would uh, then click on the rule template here, right? And now, it would contain all the Sentinel built-in rules. So, if you would see here that uh, your built-in rules are available, and gear you know, create incident based on all alerts generated in Azure Active Directory Identity Protection. And if you would see first access credentials added to application or server. So if you would go with Microsoft security templates, Microsoft security templates automatically create Azure Sentinel incidents from the alerts generated in other Microsoft security solutions. We can use Microsoft security rules as a template to create new rules with similar logic. So we'll see how to how we can automatically create incidents from Microsoft security alerts. We can also use uh, Fusion technology, where an advanced multi-stage multi attack detection in Azure Sentinel uses scalable machine learning algorithms that can correlate many low fidelity alerts and events across multiple products into high fidelity and actionable incidents. We can also use out of the box detections. We can also use scheduling analytics rules, which are based on built in queries written by Microsoft security experts. So now let's say uh, I select this create incidents based on all alerts generated in Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. So I will click on create rule and I will say, okay, uh, I want you to create incidents based on Microsoft Defender. If I enable Microsoft Defender because it's the, the standard version of Azure Security Center that comes with an extra cost, right? So status is enabled, filter by severity, any include specific alerts. So only create incidents from alerts that contain the following text. So if I want to add it, so let's say CPU usage is high or any attack that you want to use, any word that you want to use. And exclude this so if you will give a review and then it would create an alert based on this so I will not create it because we'll make a detailed video on this as well all right and if you want to use out-of-box detection so in in order to use a built-in template we have to click the uh, template rule so this is what I so I create these are all built-in you can create custom rules as well like from here right you can create custom rules as well based on uh, your requirement how do you want to set the rule logic we'll create all these and separate videos as well now just i just wanted to show you 
how you can use built-in analytics let's say i use ti map domain entity to dns event so if i do for dns this it says identifies a match in dns events from any ip ioc from ti it's a threat intelligence indicator i click on create rule it name it anything you want and impact this tactics if you want to see the rule logic this is the rule logic here anytime detail set here will be within the scope this is the rule logic if i expand it this is all built in right and if you want to see incident settings you want to create incidents generated by this rule you want to enable alert grouping and what would be the automated response for this rule in now in here we use playbooks in the selected subscriptions so i'll explain you what actually a playbook is and how you create a workbook or a playbook in azure sentinel right no playbooks to display i click on review what information oh okay i did not create the rule logic oh define it one r is greater than one stop running query after the alert is generated you can set it to off whatever you want to response review oh it's failed again let me check it the data type dns events does not exist anyway you can add it okay so i have not added a data connector in here let me see how can i add it so i will do install solution I'm sorry about this but you have to first of all add that type of connector to use the built-in analytics to detect specific thread based on the solution that you are using right so it is installed so I go here I go here I go here it should work now okay you click on create now you have set up an a rule by enabling uh, by using the data connector for your dns type events right so you will have to first of all connect that type of a data connector with your existing workspace in which you have added your as your sentinel deployment for that particular subscription and then you can create the built in you can use the built in templates to create the rules and detect the threats i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day ahead